Well, I'm kind of upset right now. Slightly perturbed because I was just filming like a 45 minute video walking all through Victoria Park, right from the dairy bar, all the way through the forest, all the way to basically the end of the forest. I turned the camera around to look at the pretty view. And all of a sudden I realized, because I have the camera flipped around now, I realized that, that that's just not possible because the camera had shut itself off and I don't know at what point it did that. And then I went to look at the recording and it was as if there was no recordings whatsoever. It was just photographs. And there was timestamps and everything on the recording, so I don't know how that could have ever occurred. I don't know how that plausibly could have ever occurred, but it did occur. And I stand here with the news that there is no video, and it was pretty epic, but then again, I realize that it's nothing that can't be talked about over and over again because it's all just from the heart and I live in the moment and right now some jackass with a garbage truck decided it would be a wonderful idea to do his garbage rounds during my YouTube video so it's a perfect time to just rumble his big bludgeoning truck and just interrupt such a serene moment. But anyways, I chose to be here, so I can't say much. I can't say much about that man and his life choice of employment. So what I can talk about is the idea that I have right now in my mind is to just talk about self-pity today. Because I woke up with self-pity today. And there's a reason I woke up with self-pity. I woke up with self-pity not knowing why at the beginning, but what self-pity is for me is when I get into my, oh, this life is not for me. This is such an awful day. There's nothing to do today. I'm so bored. I feel like crap. My muscles are aching, groping and moping about everything. And why me, the poor me start. What have I done to deserve this? The whole world has wronged me. The world is against me. Everybody hates me. Why is there, why is this worm happier on the ground? Why is this worm here on the ground happier than I? Like, look at that crap. Like, this is just the whole self-pity mode for me. That's what goes on in my mind. So I started, as soon as I started to notice this, I started to pick up on my program of action. So I got to a meeting and I listened for the entire hour. And then after that, I went to another meeting and I listened for another 55 minutes and I spoke for five about self-pity. And I identified why I was feeling self-pity and how I came to this place of self-pity. And so this is how I arrived at it. And I realize I have three close allies right now that are all going through very personal and heavy stuff that I can't help them with because what I realize is that there's one side of it that I can't help them with but what I can help them with is taking care of my own personal health and making sure that when they do come to me for anything at all that I will be there to answer the call in a positive light. Now that's something I haven't always been able to do because what I do is I get selfish and I'll give more than I possibly can give to make myself look good or to make myself feel good or something of that nature. But when it all boils down to it, I'm just another bozo on the bus and sometimes the best thing to do for somebody is to give them their space, let them froth whatever pain or self-pity of their own they're going through and let them come back at least half charged and able to have a realistic conversation about what's going on and what we can do together to work through that situation. And now I just take a look at the sick people in this world. I, I ask myself, what are these people doing? And I look at what they're doing 
to get through these struggles and these tough times. And then I just take a look at my life and I see what I'm doing to get through my tough times and I can't speak for anybody else. But what I can do is speak for me and what works for me is that I take treatment for my disease. If I have something going on with my spiritual aspect, I take care of that by going to seek some spiritual wisdom. If I have a mental ailment, such as a disability or an illness that involves the mind, well, I go to see somebody that can help me with that. And if it involves a physical ailment of some type, well, then I go seek physical help or whatever it is that I'm dealing with physically that day. So with that being said, today I was feeling self-pity, so instead of staying stuck in that self-pity, I'm going to get off the main roads here because these cars are really annoying. Instead of staying stuck in that self-pity mode, I got up and I got active and I did the same things I do on the days that I have no self-pity. And the best way to describe how I felt after these meetings was I turned from self-pity into gratitude. And then I took a walk there through the trusty Victoria Park Forest after walking on the boardwalk. And yeah, it's a little overcast out today. Yeah, it's a little bit rainy. But in the grand scheme of things, it's a lot better to be out in this weather than it is to be at home in my room, stuck in my own thoughts, saying to myself all these negative thoughts. And somebody always brings up a topic that hits my heart. And I hear exactly what I need to, exactly what I need to hear it. And today it was all changing the negative thinking into positive thinking. Now, in my experience, the best way to change negative thinking into a positive mentality is to stick with the winners, to be with the people that are living in the positivity. People that talk a good game and walk a good game. So, Sometimes that means I have to be my own best friend. Like I said, sometimes that means I have to just be one with nature and hang out for a little while by myself with God and just enjoy that time alone. It's not alone today. It's not, it's not loneliness. It's what it is, is it's solitude. Noticing what's around me, noticing the beautiful scenery. Everything that goes with the beauty of life. And it's all positive. And I have to draw myself out of that negativity forcefully sometimes. I have to, sometimes other people have to do it for me. And I can't be stuck sitting there for too, too long in my negativity or I will stay there. And I will do all kinds of things that surround that negativity, like lying, cheating, and stealing, for example. So, I guess just to sum up my thoughts and my feelings on the matter of today is, despite my life going well, my happiness, my serenity, and my freedom is all there. It may not be that way, and it's certainly not gonna be that way for everybody I'm close with, regardless of how close I am with them. Sometimes life just gets in the way and there's nothing I can do to help them other than just take a little step back and allow life to happen naturally. And if they come back, it's meant to be. If not, I guess that's just the way it was intended to work out. Now on the flip side of that, that gives me the opportunity to grow in my own life a little bit more form new relationships, get to know myself a little better, and just appreciate what I have a little more. 
Addicts are famous, so are codependents, for wanting what we can't have. Or once we have it, we want more of it, or it's not good enough, we want something different. And it's all a process of learning to get out of that selfish, I want, I want, give me mode, and into the selfless, giving, what can I add to this world mode. And today, I think the best thing I can do to add to this world is to just live in the moment, enjoy the day, and possibly go get something to eat because I'm getting on three o'clock here and I'm getting pretty hungry. Hope you all have a good day. Peace.